Hey guys, it's Josh. Today's topic, or this week's topic, is on outing. Um, and how you feel about being outed by by friends and family. Um, for me personally, I guess it depends on how you live. Whether you live uh, out and open or stealth. Uh, for me myself, I moved, I transitioned in Arkansas and moved to Florida um, after I transitioned. And I live stealth, you know, mainly. Some people now that I've met know. Uh, my boss knows. A couple of, of friends know. But about 95% or 98% of the people that I've met after moving here, after transitioning, have no idea that I'm transgender. Um, It bothers me when I get outed or when someone feels the need to put it upon themselves. And it doesn't happen just with friends. It's with family, too. My mom and my sister um, have a habit of doing that. And I don't think they mean... I know they don't mean anything bad by it. Sorry. They don't mean anything bad by it, but it's more along the lines of, oh, well, my son used to be my daughter or my brother used to be my sister. Um, same thing with co-workers, I don't know why they would do it. I started working uh, at Comcast, and I had seen someone there that I had known previously who knew uh, Jennifer that that I was, and um, kind of started causing some, some drama about it at work, and I still worry about it now. After being there a year, I still wonder, is she telling anyone, you know, I asked my wife about it before I started making this video as to why she thinks people out other people. And her response was that she feels like maybe they don't understand or respect what it is. They don't think about it. They just do it. Just say, oh, this person is this. For me, um, I think it's more of a gossip thing. I think if someone respects you, they're not going to out you. I don't think the majority of people really know the dangers of transgenderism. They don't understand the dangers of being someone like us, where the wrong person is going to find out and can kill you. You know, I mean, simple and plain. They could assault you, they can kill you, they could do anything along that line. Um, myself, I've been the victim of physical violence for being trans, hence why I moved out of Arkansas. Um, I've had my jaw broken, I have had, um, some complications from an infection after chest surgery, after being assaulted a week or two out of surgery. I've lost teeth because my jaw was broken right there from, um, an altercation where someone found out I was transgender and took it upon themselves to become physically violent. Um, so to me moving out and living stealth was really important to me. But at the same time, my issue is with trying to not out myself. And I think it's because I still feel like I'm living a lie. I still feel... And I, I don't mean that to say, like, I feel like I... I don't know how to word it without sounding like a total douchebag. I feel like... I'm lying to people. If I were to get, if I were to meet someone and develop a close friendship with them, you know, and then find out a year down the line that they used to be an axe murderer or they used to, you know, just something random like that, I think I would feel a little betrayed. And I'm not comparing being trans to being a psychopath or an axe murderer, but it, to me it's the same kind of secret. If I meet, you know a good friend that I get really close with and share things with and then find out later that they used to be another gender or that they're, you know, just something big like that. I mean, it wouldn't change how I felt about that person, but I would feel a little betrayed. I would feel like they didn't trust me. So I guess that's my issue currently. Um, but when it comes to being outed, it is a fear of mine, safety-wise. It is... Um, it's a constant worry. 
I worry every time I see this particular person at work talking to someone and then look at me, I always worry, did she tell them? Or who has she told? Or who knows and who doesn't know? Um, I, I hate it. I hate it with a passion. I think being outed is not just a an injustice, not just something that's disrespectful, but I think it's something that could really endanger our lives as a community, as, as individuals, because I don't know. You know, that was one of my biggest beefs with my sister, per se. I mean, she's an awesome kid, and I love her with my whole heart. But, like, she would have friends from school that knew, and I never even met them that knew that I was trans. And I know it's because she was looking for people to talk to when I was transitioning and trying to kind of work through her feelings with it. But at the same time, it bothered me because from the first time these people met me, they already knew who I used to be, and they could never really get to know who I was. I think that's the biggest problem with outing someone is that someone else's perception of them changes. If, you know, someone at work, I've got a very good guy friend at work that I used to sit next to, and we would talk and joke. He has no idea about me whatsoever. I mean, none. And we've talked about some raunchy man things, and he's opened up to me and, you know, spoken to me and talked about his wife and previous girlfriends and sex stuff and just guy talk. And I spend my, the majority of my time so worried that he's going to find out that I'm going to say something off that's going to make him think, we're, <laughs> you know, there is um, a fear that if someone told him, oh, by the way, did you know your buddy used to be a girl? that he would feel betrayed or he would feel he wouldn't have the same respect for me as a transgender man you know that he does as just regular old Josh um, and that's a big fear and I think that's the same thing with being outed is it's no one else's business to tell anyone who or what you are but your own and I think people rob us of that because they feel entitled they feel like it's so amazing, you know. I found the same thing with sexuality, that people feel the need to not just transgenderism or sexual identity, but sexual, you know, sexuality, where they go out and say, oh, you know, so-and-so's a lesbian, or so-and-so's gay, or so-and-so's bi, or whatever the case may be, whatever the label that may fit. But it's inappropriate, because now you don't know that could affect a job, that could affect schooling, that could affect housing, safety, relationships... I think it's important, you know, to really stand your ground with someone that outs you and cut ties with that person because obviously they don't respect you enough to keep your life and your business private. I think people out other people, myself, I think people out other people to make themselves seem a little more interesting, whether it's consciously or, or unconsciously. Um, I think it's to... I think people have a hard time holding on to a juicy secret. And I think that's what they see it as. They see it as juicy news and juicy gossip. And we're in such a, a TMZ society where everything that's private is no longer private. And I think that's where it comes from because I could go on TMZ.com and find out what color Britney Spears' shit is and find out the day she started her period and all these other private personal things. And I think it, as a society we're so accustomed to being in everyone else's business so much that we no longer know the boundaries of uh, what's appropriate and what's not. You know, disclosing my favorite color or my least favorite drink to someone that's fun, but disclosing my gender identity, my sexual identity, my sexuality. I even go as far as to disclosing my religious beliefs and or financial status or political affiliation, all of those things are crossing the line and unfortunately most people do it anyway just to be asses so that's my video on outing hope I didn't ramble too long I did it's almost 10 minutes but um, hope everyone liked it and I'm really looking forward to next week's topic of passing because I have a shit ton to say on that hope this finds everyone well and you guys enjoyed my video namaste